If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey, greetings folks. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. So, a mail call that a little behind, but I'm slowly but surely catching up. Uh, I'm going to thank to all my supporters that have watched my video and gave me a thumbs up and leave me comments. That helps me more than you know. So, I am working on some uh, more letters, so they'll be coming out. But anyway, let's do this mail call, because this is what it's all about. Not about me. It's for you to see what your thoughts are. Let's start with this one. One of my favorite of all fountain pens. I guess they're all favorite. What do you think, Jake? Uh, well, yeah, it, you can't nail one down. I, know, I, can't, I can't. It's right here. And we're going to get that little drill out right now, I think. I think you're going to have to go to school to open this one up. Here we go. But when I, when I saw it, I knew I wanted it because, like I said, I, I really like them. I've enjoyed them. They, they've been good to me. Of course, it comes in the standard Monteverdi. Encased, lovely green, and I I do like the way it feels and the stitching around the case and up and down the pin case. Nice monogram with Monteverdi. So now let's get into the real deal. What Monteverdi is all about? Seriously, there's people that's gonna like it. There's some that's not gonna like it. If you want a good, dependable fountain pen, I recommend this. Yeah. First, we got to get this thing open. Mm. Here we go. It's kind of stuck. That's why I couldn't get it open. There it is. Ta-da! That is gorgeous. Look at that. Now, I'm never much for the uh, pens that, you know, you can actually see the ink in them. Demonstrator, but this had more of an appeal for me, you know, what made me look at this was the, the colors involved. I like the metallic blue in it on the uh, clip and around the, the bands, two in the middle and one at the bottom, and of course the Monteverdi on top emblem. So let's take off the First of all, magnetic. Do it again. Really nice little sweet click. Love it. So, and here's the clip. And I got the fine. I'm a broad nib person, but then I've changed. Well, I've always been a medium. Always. I do like broads and I use them, but then I've been trying to explore the fine nibs and uh, the extra fine nibs I may try later, but not on all pins. There's only a few nibs that I would be interested in and that would probably be the Sailor. So here we go. And this is a, just a still fine nib, which I can't wait to try. The converter, like I said previously, I do like it a whole lot better. It's easier 
to clean out the pink for me. And I do love the grip section as well, how it matches the colors of the pen. So I can't wait to, to dip in that. And, let's see, comes with your card and your instructions. Everything you need to know about the Monteverdi for those of you who are just getting into fountain pens. And it comes with two cartridges. So that means you can either put your cartridge in there and start writing, or if you have a bottle of ink, you can fill it with your favorite ink, or when you get through using the ink in here, you can always refill your uh, cartridge with your favorite ink and, and do your thing. You know, it's up to you. It's your pen. Do your thing. Well, let's don't stop here. We're going to go for another one. Let me close up this blade. Click. Right here. That one come out nice and easy. And let's see what this one is. And here we go. look at it like that and then we're going to take it out yeah when I saw this pen I said well this is really a cool pen I love black that's a cool color it just looks very distinguished on a, a fountain pen like this for example okay Let me just get some other things out. Of course, you're going to have the same thing. Fountain pen instructions. And uh, kind of two cartridges. And you might want to keep this lifetime warranty and read it. Here is the Monteverdi. Invincia, the color, fusion. Beautiful colors. Now, it is gorgeous. I, you know, when I saw this pen, it was just darn right awesome. I like the stealth black medium nib, as I'm going to show you right there. Look at that beautiful baby. Just crying for you. Come get me. And here is the screw-on cap. And twist off, and you can post it if you wish. It's not going nowhere. I try not to post my, uh, my pens because I don't want to scratch them. But sometimes I don't remember. A nice nib. And this is a medium nib. And so... I'm going to unscrew this, the one and only barrel, and we'll take it apart. And they unscrew out. Again, my favorite kind of uh, way to ink my pins up and to clean them out is by using that type of converter. The other piston converters is like they're 20, 30, 40, 50 times flushing them out. And uh, it just has to be done. So there's that one now. And. Wow. It's been a busy, busy, busy day today. Doing what? Nothing. Okay. Now I want to revisit just in case if I didn't show it. Is right here in Mr. Announcer. This is by Endless, I believe, correct? 
Yes. And the name would be... I'm getting close enough to it. It is, oh, the Creator Retractable Fountain Pen. So, this is just not a fountain pen, but it's a retractable fountain pen that you can use as a ballpoint pen. Click, click, click. Like the, uh, ah, I happen to have one here. Like the Vanishing Point. And that's just like that, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to open it up again because I want to make sure you see this little jewel. And it is a beautiful little jewel. And a thank you out there to Frankie Federalist and Pins and Paper. Here it is, Frankie. Right there, baby. All right, it's a rocket. Nice case. I like the way Endless puts the name on top in gold lettering. Well, you know, kind of like gold. And we're going to flip it open. And now I'm going to take it away from you. First of all, this pen comes with one converter. Cartridge. I'm sorry. Duh. Thank you. And, of course, your little... Instruction notebook and warranty and all that good stuff, which you might want to look at before you start operating to make sure you dot all the I's and cross all the T's. Mm -hmm. So, and now it's time to say hello. Beautiful pen. Even if I showed this previously, it's worth showing again and again. And I'm going to go right into it, taking it apart. And it reminds me of the vanishing point. I do like the feel. It's really awesome the way it feels. And then we're going to go to... You ready? Here we go. There it is. Again. And somebody said, well look, that nip didn't come out all the way. It comes out just enough to write with. Here's the vanishing point compared to endless. And you'll see the difference. Can we show the difference? Vanishing point, endless. Okay. Alright. So, I can't wait to get this little jewel inked up. Nice clip. It looks really stunning. So what's your comments about this pen? So where can you find these pens? Well, the ones I showed you. Frank at Federalist Pens and Paper that I know of. And Pen Boutique. Well, that's going to wrap it up today. It's time to uh, get some stuff ready before I, I hit the bed. So i got to take some medicine and uh, get ready for tomorrow. So God bless everybody again. Happy Thanksgiving it was last year. So we're going to go forward to Easter. Hello to so all you little gobbles. I had Thanksgiving. I hope you could make it for Easter for the rabbit. So you thought I was going to, nah, what the heck. Time to be fun, silly, and just act like me. Peace. Love you, baby. Keep on the rocking. Don't forget, subscribe. Leave your comments. And peace and love to all.
We're out of here, babe.